Is always better at home. I would like to begin with a poem in old fashioned meter. So, anyway, today we we're gonna do some carbon fiber. The coffee is so good here. Mm. Life without coffee, that's just that's a that's a terrible, that's a terrible, mm. that's a terrible thing. That's a terrible. Probably be split up into a couple of videos. If y'all know anything about my channel, then y'all know I try to cover as much stuff as I can so the videos end up taking a little longer. If you don't like that, I'm sorry. If you do, awesome. Uh, if you don't know, carbon fiber is what's called a laminate. It's where you take uh, a fabric of a certain uh, a certain material. Uh, carbon is actually graphite, I think, and uh, it's it's woven or it's not woven. It's it's a uh, it's refined into strands and then it's woven into a fabric. There's several, several different types of fabric. There's, there's twill weave, there's directional weave, there's a million different things. Fiberglass the same way. Uh, fiberglass is glass strands and woven into a fabric. You've got, you've got glass, you've got carbon, you've got Kevlar, you've got aramid, all these things. There's a, there's a bunch of stuff that goes into it. This video, is gonna be just a very basic uh, carbon fiber. I'll, I'll show you how. I'm gonna make a, uh, it's not really a mold, we'll call it a form, uh, just cause it's gonna be a flat, a flat piece. Uh, I'm actually gonna use Lex hand. And we're gonna, oh, my little helper's coming here. But uh, I'll be back in just a second. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here's my helpers. Look right there at the camera. Look, Gracie, look at the camera. Hi, right YouTube. Here, step back here, Gracie. Come here. Here, stand on your tiptoes. Stand on your tiptoes. Tiptoes. Now look up here. Look at this. There they are. These are my big helpers. Uh, this is Maddie. She's got Maddie GTV. Y'all go check her out. We're gonna do a vanity for her today. And I don't know, they might help me with some carbon fiber or some welding machine stuff, you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, they got swim lessons right now, so they're fixing to go. But anyway, all right, tell them bye. Bye, YouTube. See you all later. Right. Love those babies. Uh, okay, love those babies. This, if you see me looking down, the camera that I have, it doesn't have a screen that flips around, so we got that. That's how I know that I'm in, in frame. But anyway, all right, look, we talked enough. Without further ado, let's go check out all the materials for the carbon fiber. All right, so here is everything, everything, everything. Let's start here. This is our carbon fiber. Let's see if I can do this. Cool. Here it is. Uh, this, it was just a little sample pack I got off of eBay. I got this roll, which is like 50 by three foot, or 50 inches by 36 inches, so three foot long. And uh, <clears throat> this came in the kit too. And this is the resin, this is epoxy resin. <clears throat> and this is the hardener. But anyway, the uh, this is gonna be the outside, uh, the outside and the inside. So the carbon fiber will be actually what you see. Now it has a, a great, great, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? The uh, the strength properties of carbon fiber is way, way up there. I think, now I'm pretty sure that per thickness, it has the same or almost the same strength properties. Now that's the, uh, not the shearing force, not the impact, it's the uh, just strength, uh, the load that it will withstand. Uh, it has the same strength property per, per thickness 
as metal with a third of the weight. Now, like I say, steel is a malleable uh, material that will bend. This is this won't bend. It'll it'll stress to a certain extent, but metal. If you if you were to bend it and make it touch itself, you know, bend it all the way 180 degrees, it won't. It's not going to break. This <clears throat> this wheel, it will just hold uh, about the same load as metal. So so keep that in mind. If if I said that wrong, comment below and let me know that I said it wrong because I want to be educated too. Uh, all right. So here it is. Here is the epoxy resin. Now. The, the company this comes from is C&J Composite Technology. But uh, this is a two part resin and you can see here, it's two parts resin to one part hardener. Now here is the hardener. Uh, I say the same, the same stuff. But anyway, we'll mix that. Now the filler material, which will go in between, it'll kind of be sandwiched in between the, uh, the carbon fiber. This, will uh this i got it at walmart it's just a regular twill weave uh fiberglass it's very common like i say you can get it at walmart or uh bumper to bumper wherever wherever you get all your stuff from all right now to measure our resin amounts this is just a regular food scale like i say this is uh i got i got this at walmart as well but uh you can see we'll we'll set it zero it out and I'll show you how to do that. This is a, uh, I don't know, razor blades always come in handy, especially working with stuff like this. Uh, to do the layup and the wet out, I like to use squeegees. Now, if you're doing a, like a complex carbon fiber, which in later videos we'll get into, I'll show you how to vacuum bag and all that stuff. Like I say, this is very, very simple, very simple. Uh, but anyway, you, you mix up your resin and all, and then whenever you wet out, just to get it flat and everything, we're gonna squeegee out the excess resin, and uh, and that'll be the that'll be what we use. Uh, this here, this is what I'm gonna make the form out of. Like I say, it's not gonna be a mold or anything. It's just gonna be two flat sides. Uh, this will be the framework for the mold. This is actually what I use. This is a. Uh, 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 face shield for welding helper grinder or anything like that but the reason I'm using this is it is made of Lexan and Lexan is pretty well plexiglass and it's got a real smooth surface so the the wax uh, the parting agent or whatever won't have to be as great uh, acetone you uh, Cleanup and preparation is everything. The the layup and the wet out is easy, easy stuff. So I'm gonna use acetone to clean this before we wax it. And let's see if I got my wax. I didn't have it on the table. Um, I don't see it anywhere. Maybe, maybe we can use this. So this is just regular old automotive wax. Now, when you get when you get more intricate with uh, with with layups and, and different shapes and you know con uh, cavities in your mold and stuff like that, then you're going to want to use a professional release agent. Uh, but this should work fine. We'll do two or three coats of that, and I'll show you in a minute. Uh, to trim our part when we demold, we'll use a Dremel tool, a little cutoff wheel. Uh, the resin and stuff is very sticky and uh, so I can't remember where these came from I think they came out of a uh, out of a first aid kit so we're just gonna use these but some agents some of the chemicals in the resin or hardener depending on what you're working with will not work good with silicone uh, so the latex gloves and stuff uh, that you have it could have a reaction and they could fail I'm pretty sure these are nitrile gloves, but those nitrile gloves is what you want. I'm pretty sure that's what those are. We'll see if they fail, we'll do something else. <clears throat> those are the materials. We'll, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on building the form. <laughs> 